Hey guys, Cypher here, and we are back with yet another unboxing video, and this one, ooh, <laughs> I'm looking forward to it, as I say with most videos, but uh, yeah, we're gonna just dive right into this one. So, uh, if you haven't from my video before, um, about the Ichiban Kuji box, um, and I'm pretty sure I mentioned that, although I won a figure in the raffle, technically, um, I also did order another figure from that set. Uh, I think it was the Plus Ultra Im Ultra. Wait, hang on. Plus Ultra Impact, I think, was the name. Because as I might have said, I was happy to win any figure, although I was very surprised they even won one. Uh, but the fact she was uh, Raiko Ayumi was selling other figures. Um, and I saw one that I was, I just thought I should probably have. Um, so here we have, it's Todoroki! And obviously the reason I got this one is because it has his fire and ice, which uh, would be for the next figure up, because I've got the very basic one which I got from Japan, like right here. Um, so I like to have one of each character if they do it that is kind of like a next level. Some characters I might not bother and just get just the one what happened to my thing. <laughs> but it, yeah, like most characters obviously like Deku, Bakugo and even Todoroki uh, I will get a few for. Um, and I got, so what have I got currently? I've got two Hawks. Um, I want to get another Shigaraki uh, and um, yeah, a few others. I want to get another Kirishima because I have his more updated costume. Um, but they haven't released a lot of the characters. Um, they have in the sort of basic ones, uh, probably up to Ida and Momo, Mineta, Denki, uh, Kirishima. Kind of got that. Um, but uh, don't have many others. They have more complicated figures. Like there's a Mina one, which looks really cool, which I want to get. But anyway, we're getting off track. Um, but yeah, the point is, I like to collect obviously more than one figure for certain characters if they have different things about them. So obviously I got Todoroki's one because it has the fire and ice. And there were, I had seen many versions up to that point, but this was like one that she was selling currently and I thought, you know what, I'll just get it because it's like, yeah, basic enough and uh, I liked it. So um, you know, just again, there's all the figures of this um, batch, the Ultra Impact, I had that wrong. Um, so, which is really cool. I would even like the Ochako one because that looks cool, but I don't have her more updated costume because she's got like the helmet and all that now. Um, but I don't think I've seen a figure of that yet. Anyway, but um, so as you can see, it's got uh, the number on it. Like I said, if it was in the prize, like the raffle, the one you would get. Um, so this looks quite a nice size, uh, which is also good because space. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just really wanted to get one with his fire and ice. And one that wasn't like too big. Okay, we want to save all that junk aside. So hopefully, if it's anything like the uh, Awazawa one, I won't have to assemble much, probably. Yeah. Okay. So I have to basically put his. Okay. So as you can see, yeah. So I have to attach his hand, and then there's the ice in which he stands on which is really cool. And I like that because it had like the fire in one hand and then the ice down there. Um, others, I think it's like on his face um, on both sides. But yeah, I just wanted a combo like that, which is nice. It's funny because I also haven't seen like his very original costume, which was terrible looking back on it. Um, they ha I don't remember seeing a figure for that at all. But, uh, you know, if it was available, I feel like I would get it just for argument's sake. I've got Deku's one, like his very first outfit, again in the simple version. Um, yeah, so here he is. That's a really nice size actually, but just uh, showing you the main body. Um, again, paintwork looks really good. Details on the face, very nice. Oh, the boots are like uh, that kind of really shiny plasticky material, which is kind of cool. I have also, like, just on a side note, I've been debating doing Todoroki, like, cosplay, but, like, you know, he is obviously part of what I would determine as the next big three, with obviously Deku and 
uh, Bakugo, but I don't know, just maybe cosplaying him, I don't feel like I would probably do as much for him, because for Deku and Bakugo I've got like various different versions that I want to do. I like his AU fantasy, like the Prince version, that is, that is quite nice. But um, yeah, I just don't know whether I would use it much. Uh, but that remains to be seen, it may come a day yet, but uh, yeah, so we've got the fire in there and that looks really cool and that's really sturdy hard plastic so I don't have to worry too much about that breaking off, possibly that bit, that bit is a little bit wonky but uh, I won't play with it too much. Um, yeah, so like the Amazon one, it doesn't have like a stand per se, but um, it obviously is standing on the ice so that has to go on if I can get it out. Strength, where is it? There you go. And that is also a very kind of, all right, that, whoa. Okay, that looks really blue on the camera, but let me tell you, it's almost like, like ice. It's literally like see-through white when I'm looking at it. But that, that is crazy. Um, yeah, it's like a almost see-through kind of, but it's really not showing up on the camera. Wow, that, is, that looks so blue. <laughs> it's really messing with me. Um, yeah, so then you get that on here. Wow, it has the whole imprint of the shoe on the bottom. So it tells you where to go. That's almost like a kick even. Oh, right, hang on. Oh no, it goes down like that. So like he's uh, stomping down. I think. I'm not sure, you know. Where's the box? <laughs> okay, so it is... That's that one, yeah. I have to consult the box. Tell me what I'm doing here. There we are. Okay, so that slots in really nicely. And that does feel very sturdy, which is good. Make sure he's all the way in. And I feel like I could be quite heavy handed with this and it's not gonna on me. So yeah, there's the boy and he looks pretty dang good. Very nice size and uh, sorry you can't see this chest but uh, yes he stands up very well. <laughs> Don't know if I can get him to do it on his box. So. There you go. Stands up really nicely. Try and do it without him falling off. There you go. So that's awesome. So yes, there is uh, my newest mm, <laughs> Todoroki figure, um, which is uh, really cool. Uh, and uh, I can actually I forget because his hero name is actually uh, Shoto. So yeah, uh, so this be Shoto in all his, and the flames are really cool as well. Again, it looks quite. Um, dark on the camera but it's actually a very light so it like refracts the light and lets it in which is really nice but it's really like hard sturdy plastic which is nice and he stands up on his own which is good okay so pricing uh by himself was 45 pounds uh plus the fiver for delivery so overall 50 quid um and you're probably thinking for maybe that size yeah but again as i always say it all depends on what you're willing to spend and you know what you want i mean sometimes the prices can be very extortionate um like and you're looking at it like is it really is it worth it for what it is who knows but um yeah no i'm happy for that because uh yeah he looks cool but uh yeah um i'm gonna say this now but this will probably be my last total figure i get again like i'm happy that i've just got him with this fire and ice and just another version which uh just looks cool so um yeah uh, but uh, yeah, definitely again, 10 out of 10. Costume design looks cool. There's like little details in on the costuming, which looks really nice. Um, everything's in order, all looks well, uh, no damage clearly. So, yeah, I'm uh, very happy with that. Um, again, I'll give you links to uh, other websites that will probably still do this, like uh, Dekai Anime and all like that. Um, and uh, I have a feeling it might be slightly cheaper. I have kind of noticed now that some of YY Kawaii's pricing varies slightly to theirs and Dekai tend to win out in being slightly cheaper. It's not a hell of a lot, but slightly because they tend to do quite a lot of sales and everything. So 
um, yeah, but yeah, definitely uh, 10 out of 10, now I'm happy with that. Damn, st strike the coughing fit. Anyway guys, uh, yeah, if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up, I do appreciate it, excuse me. <laughs> um, obviously, if you got any questions or comments, leave them down there, I really appreciate it. If you are lurking, do hit that subscribe button, I do appreciate it, and the notification bell that you do here. And, if you want to see more reaction videos, they are, but they add, stay tuned, because there are a couple more coming, one of which... I, I just, I really, really can't wait. The, the parcel arrived yesterday, and I'm like, okay, don't, don't jump ahead of yourself. You have a few videos planned for this, so I'm gonna drag it out for another couple of weeks. Plus, we still got Yashahime reactions to do, which I try and bring out every week, but I might bring out an unboxing with them during the week. So, yeah, there's uh, some stuff to look forward to, guys, but uh, until next time. How low can you go?